this as well, people. Keep your opinions, etc. coming. When I say transfers, I just mean the, the nonsense reports. Pardon me, that are online. Let's get into some of them, people. And you start looking. Ben White, how Ben White has silenced his critics to become Mikel Arteta's defensive rock and earn England recall. I wouldn't say he silenced all the critics because it's not universally agreed that he's a he's fundamental good centre back. What I would say is to all these players and Arteta and actually to us, noise. You know, if you do well, you'll get all the praise. If you do poor, rightly or wrongly, there could be reasons you'll get negatively. Tunnel vision. Just keep doing what you're doing. The only opinion that matters for these players is Mikel, Arteta, Mikel Arteta's. Obviously, the fans, etc. But just keep doing what you're doing. Let people talk. Let people talk because it's funny. Now, man, I'm talking about silence critics where personally, as much as I'm a Ben White fan, I think he's doing all right. I don't think he's achieved anything. We haven't achieved anything. We haven't done anything. We've been good for a moment, you know. I do think Arsenal's very bipolar in the sense of there's any, just OTT negativity, OTT positivity, which neither are true. You know, we still don't necessarily manage our games to the best. We've got a lot of, we've made a lot of progress, but we've also got to make a lot of progress. Um, I didn't understand how just after one game he was written off, though, man. Um, it is what it is. Ben White, they're overforcing it. Ben White definitely had criticism. They said, why is Arsenal spending 50 million? They said we got zanged. They said, is he evidently better than we had? We were told, you know, we were we were blasted with the fact of how United got Varane, which nothing against Varane or United. Varane, well, everything against United, but Varane's doing his thing. You know, we was told how what we could have done with the peas. Why isn't Saliba getting an opportunity, which I hope he does, and we've got stuff to speak about. Definitely. And again, when you saw, again, like you saw Jamie Carragher and these lot were doing mad analysis on our team just after Ben White, he's going to have to live with the 50 million. I don't think he's answered all the critics. I don't, I wouldn't even go with the headline, but well, let's not act like man weren't writing the man off when he's playing with duds and donuts and, and all of these sort of things, bro. My Love Island centre back, man. I love you, Ben White. You are the love of my life. I love you, Ben White. I let you shag my... No, we're not going that far. That's a sucker one, but um, people are going to watch tonight and think just play young, long, long balls on Ben White's head. I mean, Ben White's still a target, like, but it's not all the way there yet. Neither is Gabriel, neither is Saliba, neither is Tommy Asu, neither is Ramsdale, neither is Tini. You know, they haven't, well, with the exception of Tini, they ain't been in the thing for time like that. They're all learning. There's bad habits that they've probably picked up in their careers. They have to unlearn them, they have to learn good habits, they have to. More time to improve as a footballer, as much as it's about doing better things with a ball, it's the, it's the speed of thought. It's the mental clarity. As much as Partey is doing good things, mentally there's been a change. You know, Raheem Sterling, Mo Salah, they've evidently improved, but it's, a ch it's thinking. OK, let's stop hugging the touchline. Let's get closer to goal. That is thinking. It's the brain. You've got to make better. It's like in life. If you want to change your life, you need to ask yourself better questions. Rather than seeking answers, ask better questions. Sometimes the, the question, the answer leads within the question, really and truly. Why is DG so sexy? Because God took his time with the guy. What could I say, bro? Like, you know the ones there. But anyways, carrying on with things, people. People are going to watch tonight and think, just play long balls on Ben White's head. Let's be clear, those Ivan Tony clips. Okay, when he pocketed, came what was said. Those five or six ones where he was get he got bullied, nudged around. That's going to be pre-match analysis for every team that plays Arsenal. When it is, you know, and that's where we've had to react and be a bit softer to the point where I mean, a bit harder where they've got onto us about stuff like that. I still don't see how Ben White's changed much in this article, but you know, apparently that's rubbish says a, a, a director of football at Peterborough. There were plenty of people in League One when we when he was playing for us who wanted to bully him, beat him up, and they weren't successful in doing it. And one thing I like about Ben White, he's a rattle merchant, low key. He's, dark arts. he's a see you next Tuesday. I love it, you know. We wanted to keep him, but Leeds came in the summer and blew us out the water. He was outstanding. We always knew he'd go on to become an England and Premier League player. I always thought he'd make a captain one day. He's quiet and respectful off the field, but on the pitch, he commands, commands a lot of respect. And I mean, that's one thing I spoke about when I went to the Emirates Cup and came back to speak to you lot. Youngsters learn way more playing men's football than just playing for under 23s. Exactly. Okay. Apparently, he was on Arsenal's radar before last summer, which he was linked to of us. And it was partly down to the club's push to use data in scouting. Clearly, the data has been married with the eyes because data referred Granite Xhaka, Mustafi, uh, Lucas Perez and Bear Dud. So it is what Renaissance. So it all depends what you're looking for. Under technical director, Edu, the scouting department has been revamped, blah, blah, blah. 
When Arsenal were looking to sign a centre-back, White topped a lot of metrics Arteta wanted with his passing ability and skill at dribbling the ball out from the back. And you're seeing how that tends in. Arteta has said he's had a brilliant season. Um, I was expecting a bit more from the article, really. So I don't think we've learned anything. Martinelli believes Mikel Arteta will win a lot of titles during his managerial career and insists Arsenal need to seal a return to the Champions League this year. And it's only been in the last few minutes is that, well, I say a few minutes, three moments that they're telling us specifically, man, want Champions League football with Granit Xhaka, with Saka, with Martinelli right now, with the way Mikel Arteta has, has to start answering these things, man. Big up yourself, Joey. Have a, have a good day. Benny Blanco is a baller, 100%. Ben White is solid enough. I'd rate him more if he didn't keep having those lapses in concentration out of nowhere. Still think Saliba is better than him, but he can do a job. They've all, gonna, they've all got that lapse in concentration. But you've got to remember, this is his second year in the Premier League. He's got a good, solid grounding with playing for Leeds, with at Brighton, with at Peterborough, with at Newport. But this is his first year, second year, sorry, and first year at us. Mikel Arteta has been getting praised by Martinelli. Martinelli's in, in the squad for the World Cup qualifiers against Chile and Bolivia. He said, he was there to support me when I got hurt. He is already a great coach who works thinking of what modern football is like, giving us great advice. He's always, he, he is also a nice person, always treating people well. I feel Arteta will be one of those lifelong coaches with lots of titles to their name and their place in football history. Bread in Arsenal always goes into the competition, into competitions thinking of seasons, but we're now leaving it behind us. We have the chance to be in the Champions League, in the next Champions League. We are fighting towards it. It's the main objective for the club. We need to do it. And he's also said Arsenal moves has been to play more the younger generation, renovating the club. We, the youngsters, have delivered and we'll keep on doing it. We're on the right path. So I can't lie. I like the way Martinelli speaks. He's on a bossy thing. I like the way Saka speaks as well. Smith Rowe, start speaking, blood, because I don't see much. Big up Smith Rowe as well. Martinelli reveals Chelsea stars' approach about switching international allegiances. So they Italy tried to finesse him. Never, man. Brazil bias. Bro. We finally got one. <sighs> I love you, Martinelli, man. He said there was never any serious possibility of such anyways, people. He was asked, he said, no one spoke to me. Only Jorginho once said to me, I hope to see you in March, something like that. But no one official spoke to me. As I said before, my dream was always to play for Brazil. I was just waiting for the opportunity to play for Brazil. He then went on to say, people, in terms of where he prefers to play, we all know he prefers to play off the flanks. I prefer to play on the wings, the left side especially, but I also like to reach the box with a chance to finish. And we do too, like we've seen. We see you play great on the right against United, boss it on the left. Long term, you, you're going through the middle, man. Alexis Sanchez, false nine settings, man. I also cut, I also play on the right side, but my favourite is on the left wing, cutting inside and getting close to goal as possible. Smash the like button, YouTube crew, Twitch. You just do your jobs, man. You look like, you look like the star student. Twitch, I like Bakayo Saka. I don't need to tell you lot what to do. We have so many stars in our squad, but I will try to take advantage of the opportunity I have in the best way. All of the players are great. Each of us has our own strengths. Name to get my place in the World Cup squad. Bro, you're there, man. You're there, bro. We're back. Football heritage. We're back, baby. The, the man them are getting called up to international duty. We're back. We're back. They laughed. Fuck your extension, man. Uh, they, they laughed when we said Smith Rowe, Martinelli, Saka, the man they are going to do their thing. Saliba, by God's grace, you get a you get a France cap so we can run agendas. Obviously, one of the games will be played at Marseille's home ground. We're cooking. We're cooking. We are cooking. Even Lekonga in the Belgium squad. Yo, one day we'll be able to speak Portuguese, but pattern me, Google. Come on, you're done. No English things. Thank you. From Italy's greed to the seven kilos gained in England. All right, this is an extended thing with, with Martinelli. That's it. I mean, that's we all know when he left, blah, blah, blah. I just want to see specifically what Mr. Gabriel said. How did you receive the news of your first draft? He said, I still had hope. I was doing my best at Arsenal, doing my job to dig an opportunity. Thank God the opportunity came. I tried to make the best of it. Were you watching the summons? What's that? I think that's when the squad was announced. I'm not going to read that. Recently, you were with assistance of the Brazilian team in London. How was that meeting after the last chat? Were you even more hopeful about being drafted? They came here at the club. I remember that Edu called me and Gab called me to his room. They were there. It was a super good chat. It wasn't much about football. It was more about, about the general, how things were, our English, our adaptation. How was the championship, the team? It was a big thing. During the recent visit, it is not now that the selection 
tries to surround you in 2020 on you how much did that make for you how much difference did that make it made a big difference for Janino to come to my house to talk to me and my family it made me very happy to know I was on the radar I just tried to do my job and do my best at Arsenal to get that moment despite this gesture by Janino in interviews in the past you didn't close the door on the Italian team until this call up by Tite were you thinking about defending another country or had winning the Olympic gold last year already made your mind I had already put that aside. As I said before, my dream was to play for Brazil. I was just waiting for the opportunity to play for Brazil. He then said, well, we already read that. Janino didn't speak to him. Bear people didn't speak to him. You said that the shirt of the Brazilian team is the biggest in the world. Everyone has a great affection for Brazil. The players, our team, when they talk about Brazil, they know we had many quality players and we still have them today. Lacazette always makes fun of me and Gab. Even being from other countries, there's this recognition by the Brazilian team. In my opinion, it remains one of the greatest shirts in the world. Trust me, we do, boy. Brazil, we're cooking. Next, this year, don't bread. Brazil, we're back. All you lot that left after 0 2, don't come back. We're back. We are back. He spoke about his period at Arsenal. We spoke about him playing on the left hand side. We already sly spoke about how there's bear man fighting for a position. Rodri, who? Not to overrate Martinelli, but he's the best in the world, man. I'm none of this. What do you think about the Brazilian team? Which player do you have the most memories with? Who tags you the most? Neymar, without a doubt. Well, Neymar, I hear you want to leave PSG. You know, you've lived in Paris. You've lived in Barcelona. You want to live in London, brother? You know the thing. Come on. Now I'm guessing it. Pogba, Neymar, you don't know what you need to do, man. Do you remember Ronaldo? In the selection, not much. I remember him at Corinthians because I was there at the time. I played futsal and I saw him training at whatever that is. But in the national team, it was Neymar who I saw the most. Kaka. Ronaldinho, Gusho, a little. You got to remember his age. I'm not saying specifically there's one name that's been missed out because despite being a baller, he's a wrongin, isn't it? The wrong sort of wrongin. So yeah, man, we can't we can't really be praising them, man. You've been in England for almost three years. I imagine that life has changed completely in London. Having my family with me was one of the main things that helped me here. My father, my mother were with me all the time. They spent a lot of time here. It helped me a lot. They always tried to talk to me to leave my feet on the ground. In terms of physical and technical issues, what difference did you feel the most when you arrived? I didn't worry too much about adapting. I tried to get here and do my best. I think it worked. I did well in my first season. Of course, I had to work a lot. There are a lot of things around. It's very different from football in Brazil. More physical, faster. The game is here and there all the time you have to run more. In the beginning, it was difficult to adapt, but today it's OK. I'm already adapted. You are still light, but we've noticed that you've gained strength in the ball. How is your physical uh, evolution? I arrived here with 68 kg. Today, I have 75 kg. That makes a lot of difference to disrupt the ball, dispute the ball, sorry. Of course, you can't lose speed, but I don't think I did. I just gained muscle mass. You have to eat the right things too. That makes a lot of difference. When you left Brazil, there was a debate whether it had been better to wait a little longer and develop here. Fuck that. It depends on each one. Sometimes it's better for the players to train in Brazil to gain a little bit of baggage. In my opinion, it happened in the best way. It couldn't be in a better way. Everything that, that happened was what had happened. It was all right. Was it the way you imagined it? Oh, you don't think about that much. But my dream has always been to play in, to play in Europe, sorry, in a big club. It was a dream to be at Arsenal and now to make it to the Brazilian national team. Yeah, he's again, he's continuing about adaptation. He was on asked, what do you like the most about London? He then said... Here you have everything, whatever you want to do. The only thing I don't like so much is the weather, but it's now getting better. I like to go karting with my friends. There are several good restaurants here too. You can do everything. Let's remember that when you're actually world class and that, this is the thing. Don't start thinking how it is in Spain and all these other places. He likes go karting. That's good. Don't Make sure you don't get injured. Who usually goes with you? Last time there were two friends of mine here, my physio, a Portuguese friend I met in London, my two agents. We closed the track just for us, a Portuguese friend. Well, they made the right friends, didn't it? Gabriel won't go. I tried to set one up with him, the Portuguese of the club, but it didn't work. You have to see their appointments and book one. I'd, I'd, I've never run with him. And then obviously he spoke about the London Eye. Shout out to him, man. And then he's talking, I don't care about no prank calls. And then he's spoken about singing in the, in the national. That's good, man. That's good. I just care about the football, though, my guy. Did you speak English before going to England? When I arrived, I spoke zero. I only knew hi, bye, thank you. Today I get I get by. I even give interviews in English. I've always taken classes, but the moment I really learned was when I got hurt. 
Before there was Martinez, an Argentine keeper who speaks a little Portuguese, David Luiz, all the staff, but I didn't speak much English. But when I got injured, I trained at a different time and I only saw the English therapist. So every day I had to speak English. This helped me a lot. Now I have to speak English. Otherwise, how am I going to talk to the guy? Today is peaceful. Was it easy for you to eat? It was pretty quiet. I have a, a cook. She always makes Brazilian food. It's really good. I don't have a problem with that. Um, he then spoke about further people helping him off the field. He then, we know, we know he likes family. He then, we spoke about this just, just a while ago. He spoke about how we need to be back in the Champions League. Now in the national team, you will meet some players who were with you in the Olympics. He spoke about Dani Alves, another goal. It's very calm. We've always taught, we always talk when it's someone's birthday, send a message. I met Alves in Portugal a while ago. Anthony is closest to me. He came to London a while ago with his family. We saw each other. They're great. Play together again. Martinelli, give Arteta Anthony's number. Make a WhatsApp group. Enough said. Enough said. Bring the Brazilian dons here. He... Two missing. Playing a World Cup and Champions League. These are my biggest dreams since I was little. Off the field, I don't think there is any more. I had the dream of buying a house for my parents. I got it last year. Off the field, it's quiet. My dream has already come through. How can you... Look at that. Who doesn't want to buy a house for their family, man? Fuck football when you hear things like that, man. The truth, the truth, and the more truth, man. That was a loved one. I love Martinelli, man. Brother, it's, 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 it's a madness. DG kills me with the Jamaican players. Gasoline and... <laughs> Bro, it is what it is, man. Pogba deserves better. Come to London, bro. Like, you know, come to London, bro. London is the place. Not them boys in blue. The man, they are broke now. Just don't sign. Just don't sign Anthony in Football Manager. Just, just don't sign him in Football Manager, peeps. I'm telling you, do not sign that individual in Football Manager. He shit. But yeah, pick him up for what he's doing, nonetheless, man. He don't know about, he don't, Danny Alves has to know about, man. I have to meet Danny Alves one day, man. I have to meet Ronaldinho, man. I can't lie. I'm not with the fanboy thing, but if I ever saw Ronaldinho, I'd be so, oh my God, Ronaldinho, oh my God, oh, you're Ronaldinho. I'll be moving, man. I can't lie, bro. Like, hey, hey, bro, give me one of them footballs, man. Not, I do the nutmeg on me. Ah, he put me my legs. Ah, Ronaldinho. Like, crazy. I wouldn't know how to act. That's my favourite guy, Elva, like, with respect to R9 and, and, and Thierry and Danny Alves. The best fullback ever. But on a serious note, Arsenal refresh striker transfer shortlist as background Darwin Nunes talks heard. I mean, we've heard we've spoken to Arthur Melo, Telemans and Jonathan Davis's agents, you know. Just because we're talking doesn't mean it's happening. What's the feasibility of the deal? How much agents are involved? What's his level of interest, you know? How willing are Benfica to deal with us? So talks doesn't always mean a man signing, but Arsenal are beginning to refresh their summer transfer shortlist ahead of the summer, obviously. When Mikel Arte and Edu plan to spend big on a marquee number nine, the vision was part of the board's thinking when they say, oh, yeah, 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 skipping ahead. That's good. We know we tried to get Vlahovic. Um, allegedly, you know, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, Jonathan David and Isaac are names of interest. However, while that remains true, export, Express Sport understands Arsenal are now also monitoring other targets, including Darwin Nunes, Victor Osimhen of Napoli and Southampton Loney Broya. I mean, we knew that already, so I'm still waiting to find something new. Background talks with the agent of the Uruguayan frontman Nunes have already taken place. Arsenal won't be alone should they wish to move for the 22-year-old who has 20 goals in 22 Primavera. I mean, could you bring him and Matias Nunes from Sporting Lisbon for this football club? Matias, Arsenal need to go and get that Nunes guy. Apparently, he's very close to signing for Manchester City. That is the number eight we need, really. And I'm sure you've all seen me use him on Football Manager. So, is what it is. Nunes has been linked with City. He's been linked with United. Been linked with West Ham and a couple of others. So, there's going to be a race. I don't think Arsenal won him truthfully. I think he's the links don't feel concrete enough for me, but he's a player I would like. I've listen, I've done videos specifically dedicated to him. South American bias can play as a target, man. He, he he's actually played against us. Not many people remember because he done fuck all. But yeah, man, I think at 22 he ties into what we're doing. Can press, can play with his back to goal, can play in slightly different roles up front, can drop not the best with the ball at his feet, but can drop deep. 
I think it has the thing. Osimhen would like him, but Napoli are not going to want to deal with us. Napoli aren't necessarily a selling club, and they got him on a good contract, really. So yeah, it makes sense. And Broya again, we don't. We, we probably ain't got a task with that. Isaac, it comes down to the trans. It comes down to negotiating that lower transfer fee. I don't think we should pay the release clause. Dominic Calvert Lewin's not had much to scream and shout about this season, but should they go down? We could have half a chance, really and truly. I would like, in an ideal world, Nunes or Osimhen and a Jonathan David for the squad and things like that. But a bit disappointed. We've not learned anything, have we? You know, we haven't. We haven't learned. We haven't learned much, have we? Really and truly. But yeah, Everton transfer development offers Arsenal hope they can sign Dominic Calvert Lewin. How? Unless they go get relegated, I just think this is bullshit, so I'm not going to read that. Anyone that was at my watch along, shout the Twitch gang for um, Galatasaray versus Turkey. I mean, brother, the 23 year old, he's quite decent. You know, this I can't say his name, we'll call him Karem. Apologies, he's techie, he's techie, he's confident on the ball. We saw a lot, but I've never seen this 23 year old religiously, I've never seen him link with Arsenal before. Today, he's been linked with Arsenal, Atletico, Wolfsburg, Lyon, and also Tottenham. So, again, maybe English clubs are just being linked for the, for the sake of it, really and truly. I don't, I don't know. But we've been linked with him. Again, I don't think statistics are doing this justice, people. Um, um, statistics and, and the Google Translate are doing this justice. So, let's just go on the Scums article. Arsenal and Tottenham set for 17, tran 17 million transfer battle over rising Turkish star and Galatasaray winger Kerem at Turkey. Cogley. So, yeah, apparently he's got a list of admirers. He's set to leave. Scouts from both Arsenal and Tottenham have been impressed. Both teams allegedly are looking to make links. Apparently, there's already been a bid from Wolfsburg. So, maybe Wolfsburg is the only interested team, respectfully, and then the rest are just being leveraged for certain things, people. They're holding out for 17 million, which ain't the worst, you know. Raw, you was headbutted by a teammate midway through the game. Raw, okay. And the centre back was given an eight game ban after confronting him. Crazy. You must be pissing off people. Please, we do not need Sergio Roberto. That's banter. And um, what's this? We've been linked with Noah Lang again, people. I'm sure no one really believes that, so I won't waste your time. We've been linked with Gakpo again, who, again, as you lot see here, uh, Liverpool, Barca, and us are interested. That confirms what the Athletic said in that the 22 year old who can play up front as well as on the flanks is drawing admirers from neighboring countries in Europe. And it seems like he'll be able to leave. You know, the cap he captains them, so he's a certain mentality. Wouldn't mind him, you know, what 16 goals, 15 assists, and 37. No coincidence, people are interested in him. He's, he seems quite decent, if I'm honest with you, from the little I've seen. Apparently, there's a gentleman's agreement. But, I mean, everybody's interested in everyone. Whoever's going to put money down on paper is a completely different thing, people. So, we'll have to see what happens in that regards. Lol, we've also been linked with Icardi, people. If you're, if you're on Banks, we've been linked with Icardi. I won't bore you with that. Once again, that was just correlating Darwin Nunes. I thought you lot might want to see Arsenal's wages, people. Banter! You know, obviously... When you look at our highest earners, it's a bit brazy and it shows we've still got a long way to go, really. Partey's playing like someone who deserves that. Lacazette's still riding off the big contract. Him him and Pepe, really. Ben White just signed. Tini got a new deal. Leno be gone. Xhaka probably needs to keep it moving. And you'll probably see a couple of these names filter. How Cedric has finessed that, I don't know. You know, and Ketio is on 45k. Saka's on 30. Tavares is on less than Enketi. I can't lie. You're negotiating to me. Shit, Tavares bled. You need to pattern that. Man, I'm getting less than Eddie. No wonder Eddie's personal terms are breaking down with Crystal Palace. Really committing fraud. Really. I'm telling you, you're a fraudster. You defo try bang ACs. But that's our wage bill. Just thought you lot would might want to see that. Uh, oh, what is? I think this is in relation to Saliba. Oh, right, right, right. I, no, no, no. Saliba's talking about that thing. I don't know about that. But um, in relation to his time at Marseille, he hasn't ruled out staying or going. He said, I feel good here. He said, I've never hidden the fact that the most important thing is to qualify for the Champions League and go as far as possible in the Conference League. I think discussions will take place afterwards at the end of May to early June between Arsenal and Marseille. On the contrary, I know the city, my teammates, my manager, but it doesn't depend on me, people. So, 
that's what William Saliba has said to people. He said he feels good here. And as you should, you're playing week in, week out, playing 20 odd times in the in, in the French division, playing a main part, got called up to France, playing in your homeland. You know, I still think your team is shaky defensively, you know, but you're putting in some good performances. Why wouldn't you want to stay, you know? I, and we've seen previously, he's, he's he wants to come back and try things at Arsenal. I would want some clarity over what Arsenal's plans are for me. And he, apparently he's spoken about that mad video, which... I ain't got time for this. No, it was a youthful mistake. It brought me a lot because when you're under 16, you do things, but you don't think about that three years later when you'll be a pro. You'll have an image to hold. We were young. This is where you tell yourself that you have to be careful with social networks. And obviously, he's turning 21 soon. It has served me well. As soon as I speak to young people, I ask them to be careful. You may be known in three, four years. You'll be punished for that. It's something that was not meant to come, but it served me well. It was a good experience. I won't do it again. Yeah, you'd imagine you babe station and just in a room by yourself not the mandem and that it, was, well, it wasn't even it wasn't even you but it was crazy bro like anyways away from all of that like disturbing stuff but um i completely erased that from my memory but nonetheless that is that people you know that is that where everything is concerned with that one 